the blueprint for future skies needs to involve all the key players, doesn't matter who they are. You know, it's whether it's urban air mobility or drone delivery or cargo or people taxis or space flight or big aircraft with 300 people on board or one or aircraft with one person on board. It's got to be able to accommodate all of those. And, and that's why we included some of those real relevant voices in the council. You know, it is all inclusive and it needs to be. You know, we can draw upon the decades of safety expertise from the aviation industry, to, you know, because we are one of the, you know, if not the safest form of travel um, there is. But we can also draw upon all that innovation, that innovative spirit of the unmanned industry that, that hasn't got that, um, that legacy history and are asking you know, new questions and thinking about new ways of doing things. If you combine those two, I, for me, that's, you know, that's potential magic in there somewhere to even get even better and even safer than what we are today. Now, integrating new airspace users and therefore services, and I think that's important, but Into Our Skies presents an opportunity to accelerate change and do things differently. So how do we harness this power of automation? How do we harness artificial intelligence or digitalization to improve the way airspace is managed? Now, the decision to establish a global council is because I strongly believe that we can forge a more adaptable, resilient, and sustainable industry. I believe this can only be achieved actually by cooperation and strong leadership because no single organization has all the answers. So bringing all the different perspectives and expertise together is absolutely essential.